Evansville is home to 13 neighborhoods of such notable character that they qualify for the National Register of Historic Places. Each of these neighborhoods is distinctly unique. One of these neighborhoods is Lincolnshire, which is nestled between St. Benedict Cathedral and Bossy High School. The Lincolnshire National Register Historic District includes both sides of Lincoln Avenue from Harlan to Benninghoff Avenue and spans south to Washington Avenue. The homes in Lincolnshire were the work of John Richard Anderson and Henry Babcock Veach, the owners of the city's largest design and construction firm during the early decades of the 20th century. Contributing strongly to the popularity of the Lincolnshire community are St. Benedict Cathedral, Wright's Memorial Catholic High School, and Benjamin Bossy High School. The collection of homes that make up Lincolnshire are French Chateau, Georgian, New England Colonial, and English Tudor. Lincolnshire became the place to live and raise families, and living in the neighborhood raised your social status. The success of Anderson and Beach's neighborhood is still very evident today, and Lincolnshire has remained a choice living enclave. In November 1922, they bought a 25-acre farm from the Stilts family and broke ground for their neighborhood developmental venture. Five years later, they bought seven acres to further expand the subdivision. In 1989, the Lincolnshire District was granted the honor of being listed on the National Register of Historic Places. I met with Historic Preservation Officer Dennis Au for more information on the Lincolnshire neighborhood. The Lincolnshire name came from the uh, architectural builder firm that developed this in the early 1920s. The firm was Anderson and Veach. They chose that name. I don't know where it came from, uh, except it was their invention. Historic District usually infers that it's on the National Register of Historic Places. This is a federal register of important uh, uh, buildings, in this case, neighborhoods. This is a district. And uh, preservation area is a uh, designated area within a city where a commission has oversight over certain exterior changes. Well, the, uh, the Preservation Commission can um, have oversight over the, the types of major building projects in this particular neighborhood. Uh, they want to make sure that any new structure, any major addition are of the same character as what's here now, so that it doesn't stand out as uh, just terribly different. What similarities do they have? Well, the interesting thing about the neighborhood is that on one hand, there's a lot of variety here. Uh, there are Tudor Revival houses, there's a uh, uh, one modern style house. There are uh, neo-Georgian or, or, or neo-colonial homes here. And uh, uh, there are even a couple of chateau-esque houses here. So we have that variety, but within each type, let's say uh, the Georgian or neo-colonial houses, there is the similarity in that they're two stories gable ends and a door right in the center and they all look like houses out of the American colonies from uh, just before the American Revolution. Mm -hmm. But each of the houses, the architectural firm, uh, just made them look a little different by different kinds of decorations added, you know, a different kind of entryway. Uh, the shutters are different, so they, they did a remarkable job of having the same, many of the same style, but, you know, they all don't look exactly alike. Well, St. Benedict's Cathedral and Bossy High School are both anchors on each end of the Lincolnshire District. Bossy High School on the south and it's a wonderful piece of collegiate Gothic architecture. And the school corporation is taking very good care of it. And it, it's, a, it's a marvelous piece of architecture. It, it fits in 
to this neighborhood very, very well, and it's an asset here. On the other end, of course, you have St. Benedict's Cathedral and uh, another fine early 20th century Gothic uh, and Romanesque revival piece of architecture. We have revival architecture here. In other words, like the, the Tudor revival, it's a revival of things that, uh, uh, of architectural styles that was in Elizabethan England. And again, St. Benedict's Church is another revival. But these, you know, it's another structure that they're taking marvelous care of. It, I think most people notice that they put a brand new tile roof on it this year. And that is extremely expensive. Well, some of them I, I mentioned before, you have all of these revival styles that are here. And uh, Tudor, uh, neo-colonial, neo-Georgian. Neo, uh, uh, and, uh, but they're all about the same size. You know, none of them are, are, are tiny, none of them are, uh, are absolutely humongous. They're all very, very well built and they're all from the same time period. Why should Lincolnshire appeal to them? This is a very stable na uh, neighborhood. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, the structures are very, very well built. So uh, people can uh, be assured that they're getting a, a very substantial piece of property and that its value is going to hold very well you know it's a it's a it's also a neighborhood where there seems to be a lot of pride in living here and that does make a difference everybody maintains their houses very well there are several resources one of them is indiana landmarks uh, this organization is a, a statewide organization it has an office here in Evansville, and they're in the in the uh, local telephone book, and my office, uh, Historic Preservation Services, with the City of Evansville, we provide some uh, uh, services and help also. And there are national organizations, of course, like the National Trust for Historic Preservation. So there 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 is help out there with with information.